So the purpose of this video is to show you how to connect a Leviton D215S smart switch with this accompanying DD0SR-01Z coordinating remote. Now, I have an existing house that's been around for over 20 years, and I have several three-way switches throughout the house that are the old Leviton dumb switches in ivory. And so now I wanna retrofit that with the Leviton smart switch and I wanna also keep it in that same uh, Decora Ivory. So when you purchase the Decora Smart Switch here, uh, you have options on the coordinating remote. Leviton has some other types of remotes that require batteries, and I wanted to avoid that. So I went with the DD0SR-1Z. This coordinating remote does not require a battery. And so let me show you what I did and see if it helps you as well. Now in my house, we have the typical connection with three ways where power comes in on one three-way switch and the other three-way switch is connected to the load. Now I went ahead and mocked it up on this piece of plywood so that I would prove that it worked to myself, to my satisfaction, before I went ahead and started taking switches out of the walls and so forth. And so if you look at the Leviton documentation, I was a little bit confused because it doesn't use the typical setup where the load is connected directly to one side and the line is connected directly to the other side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's their PDF, and they clearly show the coordinating remote and the digital smart switch. So notice that the line comes in on the digital smart switch, and then this red wire goes directly to the load, whereas the coordinating remote really is not doing any sort of switching at all directly to the load. Now you can do this uh, with an existing um, home like mine where the traveler then is just bypassing that, uh, that coordinating remote and it goes right to the load through the, the junction box. That kind of didn't really sit well with me. I like to see uh, the second switch actually doing the switching to the load. And when I researched this with Leviton, I found that it was difficult to understand how to do that. But putting a few things together and looking at some of the other documentation that Leviton had, I was able to do that. So now if you're happy with this kind of, you know, I guess uh, wiring, then, you know, you can do that. But again, I was more of a traditionalist where I'd actually like to see uh, one of the switches doing the control at the load and one of the other switches doing the control at the line. So let me show you how I did that and how I uh, put it all together. So in this case, we have the Traveler. You can kind of see it behind my, my mock-up there. And it's doing the same kind of thing that it did with the dumb switches that I had in the past. So what I did was I took the Leviton uh, PDF and with a little bit of magic with Photoshop, I modified uh, their drawing to show you what I did. So let me put that up here. So here's my modification of their drawing. And as you can see, I have the, the line voltage coming in on uh, one switch, which is the digital smart switch side, and the load now is connected directly to the switch, the coordinating remote. And the traveler is still there, so we're still doing the traveling, but the load is being controlled by one switch, and the line is being controlled by the other. And so with all that, I, you know, examined it, tested it, made sure that everything worked right, and it does. And so here's kind of the proof of it. We can turn on the light from either side, turn on and off, and it's happy as a clam. And by the way, I do have this connected to a little pigtail here to prove all this, and that's what's coming in here as the line side. So now that this is on, I've also got Alexa monitoring this whole thing. Alexa, turn off porch. So as you can see, Alexa recognizes it as well. So I'm gonna hold uh, my modification uh, for a second here on the screen and you can examine that and uh, use it to your own advantage. Uh, again, I'm kind of a traditionalist, liking to see the load directly connected to one switch and the line directly connected to the other, which is the typical way uh, the older style Decora and other types of three-way switches are done. So with that, I hope this helps you as well, and happy wiring. Thank you.